Bueno, let's begin. Bienvenidos de nuevo a nuestro podcast de Immersive Spanish. Wow. Switching from Spanish to English mid-sentence like that does sound funny, doesn't it? Regardless, welcome back. Sorry if it sounds a bit noisy. Hang on, let me put in my earphones. Ah, that's better. You see, once more, I find myself in the majestic but noisy market of La Boquería. Or I should say, me encuentro una vez más en el mercado de La Boquería. You may remember from the last episode that me encuentro means I find myself. Therefore, me encuentro una vez más en el gran mercado de La Boquería. This means I find myself one more time in the great market of the Boqueria. Why have I come back to this market? You may be asking. You might remember that we came here in episode 6. Well, I'm going to try and make a paella back in my accommodation. And of course, this will be a great place to get the ingredients. But also, secondly, this market isn't just a place where you buy produce. Throughout La Boqueria, you will find many stalls and vendors selling dishes, tapas, and all kinds of delicacies. Most of these stalls and their family recipes have been inherited over four or five generations. That means you know that you're guaranteed a good, delicious time here. Antes de empezar, before beginning, antes de empezar, me gustaría compartir algunos datos interesantes. I would like to share some interesting facts. Me gustaría compartir algunos datos interesantes. Primero, fact number one. La Bocaría es el mercado más grande de la ciudad de Barcelona. Did you get that? The Bocaría is the biggest market in the city of Barcelona. Segundo, Fact number two. The real name of the market, as written in Catalan, is, and you have to bear with me because my Catalan is not very good, Mercat de San Josep de la Boqueria. Tercero, the third fact. It has been voted as the best market in the world by the World Congress of Public Market, and also by CNN. I'm going to tell you this last fact in Spanish, so listen up. El mercado de la boquería recibe más de 40 mil personas al día. I'll give you a clue. 40 mil means 40,000. So I'll say that all together once again. El mercado de la boquería recibe más de 40 mil personas al día. Ready? I'll say it in English. The Boqueria market receives more than 40,000 people to the day. So it goes about saying, the market is obviously doing something right. And no, it's not just tourists and travelers that it attracts. Locals come here for breakfast and lunch, as well as to shop. It's currently 9 a.m. Maria, a local of Barcelona, told me that the best time to go is early. Well, I thought I was early, but as you can hear, I didn't quite beat the traffic. Maria also gave me a list of the most famous and highly regarded stalls throughout La Boqueria. I'm very interested to see what all the hype is about. So, as we say in England, let's have a gander. Let's have a look. But first, and before I forget, I need to buy all the ingredients for a paella. Unbelievable. As soon as you enter the market, you are flooded with an explosion of colors. These fruit stalls truly contain all colors of the rainbow. Mangos, sandias, manzanas, naranjas, fresas, platanos. Aquí hay de todo. It's no wonder the Spanish life expectancy is so high. La calidad de la comida es muy alta. La calidad. The quality de la comida, of the food, 
es muy alta. It's very high. Bueno, para cocinar una paella, necesito los siguientes ingredientes. Primero, necesito comprar arroz. Además, necesito una cebolla blanca, aceite de oliva, pimentón, unos tomates y ¿qué más necesito? Ah, sí, debería comprar gambas. How many of those ingredients did you catch in Spanish? Let's go over them. Rice is el arroz. El arroz. Olive oil is aceite de oliva. Aceite de oliva. Fruit of the gods, if you ask me. Paprika is pimentón. Pimentón. I also said, I need unos tomates. Some tomatoes. Unos tomates. Last, but definitely not least, I said, I should buy prawns. Debería comprar gambas. Debería means I should. Debería comprar gambas. Yo no quiero cocinar un plato muy complicado. No voy a necesitar más ingredientes. No voy a necesitar más ingredientes. No voy a necesitar. I am not going to need. Well, don't go anywhere. There's a stall full of veggie greens. I'll quickly grab what I need. Señor, buen día. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien, muy bien. Señor, me pasa dos tomates grandes, por favor. Ah, también me puede pasar ese paquete de arroz. Sí, ese paquete de arroz. Gracias. ¿Y usted tiene aceite de oliva? Sí. ¿Puedo comprar una botella pequeña, por favor? Sí, una botella pequeña. No quiero mucho, solo un poco. Entonces sí, la botella pequeña. Muchas gracias. Guys, what else do I need? ¿Qué más necesito? Ah, <laughs> casi se me olvida. I almost forgot. Dos cebollas blancas, por favor. Perfecto. Y pimentón. Pimentón también. Señor, la última pregunta. ¿Usted vende gambas aquí? ¿No? Ah, por ahí. Bueno, no hay problema. Voy a buscar por ahí. ¿Cuánto cuesta esta compra? 12 euros. Vale. ¿Puedo pagar con tarjeta? Listo. Gracias. Sí, necesito una bolsita. Gracias. Fantastic. I got almost everything that I need. I even got a little bag. Una bolsita. I just need some prawns or gambas. The friendly man behind the till recommended me a seafood stall. Just at the corner. Let's go. I'll tell you what. The smells here are almost overwhelming. It's very fishy, as you might expect from a market. That's the main thing. But I can also smell onion and garlic being cooked from some of the stalls. I can't wait. Bueno, ya llegamos. We already arrived at the stall. It's intense. I can see a lot of big fish, like swordfish. Pero donde están las gambas? I don't see the prawns. Veo ostras, veo mejillones, veo pescado de todo tipo, pero no veo gambas. Wait, ahí están. There they are. Hola señora, ¿puede darme 400 gramos de gambas? Muchas gracias. ¿Cuánto cuestan? 15 euros. Perfecto. Pago con tarjeta, por favor. No. No necesito una bolsita. Ya tengo una. There we go. We got the ingredients needed for that paella. 
That's all sorted. A ver. Let's have a read of where Maria recommended me to check out. Just so you know, she told me the vast majority of these stalls serve smaller portions. Something to snack on or pick out. In Spanish, this is known as picar, to snack. Picar. In España, la gente come así. A la gente le gusta picar. The people here like to snack. So, Maria has recommended me a famous place called Bar... Excuse my pronunciation here. Bar... Pinocho? Let's have a look. One thing to be aware of is that the food, bars, recipes... I think the vast majority of them are all Catalan based. So, don't expect to easily find this kind of stuff in other parts of Spain, like in, say, Malaga or other Andalusian cities. I can even hear just as much Catalan here as I can Spanish. Anyway, the bar Pinocho has, according to what Maria says, been serving breakfast and lunch here in La Boqueria since the year 1940. Supposedly, some of the best food can be found there. Maria has recommended me the hot chickpeas. Apparently they don't even have menus, so you either have to point out or explain what you want. Ah, I think I've already walked past it. It's at the front. I know. It's shut. Why is it shut? Let me ask the workers next door. Eh, perdón. ¿Por qué está cerrado el bar Pinocho? ¿En serio? ¿Cuándo pasó eso? Ay, no. Qué triste. How sad. I've just been told that this legendary stall that was serving the Boqueria for over 80 years has closed down earlier this year and reopened in another part of the city. That's a shame. Oh, well. I best go and check out the next place Maria recommended. That place is called Kiosco Universal. She said that it starts at stall number 691. Kiosco Universal se especializa en mariscos. Kiosco Universal specializes in seafood. El bar se especializa en mariscos. So, specifically, according to what Maria has written, they specialize in grilled seafood. This, in Spanish, is called Mariscos a la parilla. A la parilla means to the grill. Mariscos a la parilla therefore means seafood to the grill or grilled seafood. Maria swears that the freshness of the food is what makes it so special. Apparently, it's second to none. The two things she said that this place is known for are calamari and grilled sardines. Calamari in Spanish are called calamares. Los calamares. ¿Te gustan los calamares? Do you like calamari? Grilled sardines are sardinas a la parilla. Sardinas a la parilla. Well, I think I see the name Kiosco Universal. Yes! Wow, I can see some flames being produced. It smells divine. Que rico! Okay, I'm going to ask for a portion of grilled sardines. Hola! Mi nombre? Si, sí, mi nombre es Cav. Si, sí, por favor, las sardinas a la parilla, por favor. 11 euros. Vale. Con tarjeta, por favor. Okay, guys. They took my name and put me in a queue. That's a pretty efficient way of handling orders, I guess. Well, why not use this time to go over some of the things you would have heard throughout the course of this episode? I am going to test you. But seriously, don't worry if you struggle. You can always go back and listen again until it sticks in your head. I know it takes me a few tries. Ready? Okay. So, 
How would you say Welcome back? Bienvenido de nuevo. Bienvenido de nuevo. If you're addressing a woman, then you'd say Bienvenida de nuevo. Bienvenida de nuevo. If you're addressing multiple people, you'd say Bienvenidos de nuevo. Bienvenidos de nuevo. How would you say I find myself? Me encuentro. Me encuentro. How would you say? One more time. Una vez más. Una vez más. How would you say? Before beginning. Antes de empezar. Antes de empezar. How would you say? The quality is very high. La calidad es muy alta. La calidad es muy alta. How do you say the rice? El arroz. El arroz. How do you say the prawns? Las gambas. Las gambas. How do you say white onions? Cebollas blancas. Cebollas blancas. How do you say olive oil? Aceite de oliva. Aceite de oliva. How would you say, what else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? How would you ask, how much do they cost? ¿Cuánto cuestan? ¿Cuánto cuestan? How would you say to snack? Picar. Picar. How would you say how sad? Qué triste. Qué triste. How would you say how yummy? Qué rico. Qué rico. How would you say, when did that happen? ¿Cuándo pasó eso? ¿Cuándo pasó eso? How would you say, grilled seafood? Mariscos a la parilla. Mariscos. A la parilla. How do you say the calamari? Los calamares. Los calamares. How would you say a small bag? Una bolsita. Una bolsita. How would you say, there they are? Ahí están. Ahí están. How would you say, there's no problem? No hay problema. No hay problema. 
Great. That'll do us for now, because they're calling my name. That can only mean one thing. La comida está preparada. The food is ready. Madre mía. My sardines have been served. There are four on a plate, and they have been served with some cherry tomatoes. It looks to be dressed in olive oil, or aceite de oliva, as we know. A ver, time to try. Mmm, 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 que rico. La comida está muy buena. But I have a problem. Pero tengo un problema. No es suficiente. It's not enough. Anyway, guys, if ever you come to Barcelona, I highly recommend La Boqueria. Within it, I highly recommend the Bar Pinocho. Anyway, let me eat this food. It's not something you want to hear on the microphone. Déjame comer. Let me eat. I shall see you on the next episode. Hasta el próximo episodio. Ciao.